From LACC Studios in Hollywood, California, it's Benjamin Underground. And now, here he is, Benjamin tonight actually I showered for this one so that'll be uh, nice for you guys um, yeah thank you thank you um, start off the show I just want to tell you that we actually only have one week left until this entire train wreck of an election is over um, in fact actually uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are actually two of the most unpopular American president candidates in uh, in history really um, apparently the last time approval ratings were so low was when Johnny Depp did anything for the last five years so yeah yeah uh, so back to Donald Trump uh, Last time at the debates, he actually said that nobody has more respect for women than I do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, he immediately followed that up with, now please excuse me as I sue every single woman in the United States. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I did a little experiment to see if we could get Donald Trump to sound a little bit more like one of those rational human beings that actually has empathy and stuff. So I tried uh, taking everything he says, translating it into his favorite language, mm -hmm. actually uh, Chinese, and then into German from there, and finally, translating it back into English for a little segment I'm calling Lost in Translation. Mm -hmm. Lost in Translation! All right, first quote we have is, uh, Ariane Huffington is, both inside and outside, not attractive. Her ex-husband has left her for a man, which I completely understand. He was a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> um, I want to build a wall, and everyone has no wall, as I believe to build me, and I will build them very large cost to our south border, and Mexico shall pay for it, I say. That's, <laughs> sounds like something you'd say, actually. Right. Uh, my fingers are long and beautiful, as it has well been documented, are various other parts of my body. Uh, sorry, actually. That's not a translation. He actually really did say that. Sorry. I apologize. Apologies. Apologies all around. All right. Uh, and what's that? Actually, we have a commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. There was chaos all around me. Now I have tranquility. Thank you, Psychic Sammy Zinchu. Thanks to Psychic Sammy Zen, I now have seven kids and I'm happily married. Thank you, Psychic Sammy Zen. Psychic Sammy Senshu. Hi, I'm Psychic Sammy Zen Chu. Call today. Psychic Sammy Zen Chu. It's not really. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. So actually, uh, I want to talk to you about something here. I was actually walking to the studio today, and I noticed that uh, there's all these nearby fast food restaurants, and they're always constantly rebranding themselves and coming up with new slogans. And you know, it's really it's the same crappy food, just with different packaging and new ad campaigns. So, you know, I actually I I delved a little deeper. I found out that there's all these people, there's all these advertisement companies and agencies that come up with all these new slogans. And I actually wanted to go through some of the lesser known uh, taglines and some of the rejected. Uh, slogans that they've come up with over the years for a little segment I'm calling Rejected Fast Food Slogans. <laughs> all right, thank you, thank you. So uh, first is McDonald's, as we all know, I'm loving it, um, is actually chosen over, I'm loving this adult onset diabetes. <laughs> yeah, um, all right, we got the uh, Jack in the Box, which uh, is, uh, we don't make it until you order it. It's actually chosen over, uh, Jack in the Box, we don't make it until the fat lady sings. That just, that just sounds insensitive. I don't even like that one. Um, Wendy's, you know when it's real. Uh, it's actually chosen over Wendy's. Don't mind the creepy ginger haired girl silently judging you while you stuff that bacon in her double down your face hole. It's, uh, it's not that catchy, but uh, you know, I can see why they, yeah. Anyway, uh, also, then there's a Chick-fil-A, which is, uh, we didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich which actually was chosen over Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken murder machine that we keep in the back. Oh. I didn't even, I thought they did that on a farm or something. I didn't realize they killed him back there. All right, uh, and finally we have Subway, Eat Fresh, which was actually chosen over Subway. We promised that Jared never touched any of the meats. Oh. Right. 
<laughs> All right, you know him. You know my uh, first guest as Man on Bicycle number two from the movie Hail Caesar. He is now starring in the upcoming film A Smash Guarantee. Let's take a look. <sighs> Mark! Sorry. Thank God, I have an emergency. No, I need a favor. What's with the black suit? Oh my God. Your mom, she died? Jesus. And you never got a chance to make her proud? I am so sorry. What? No, she's alive, you idiot. Oh, sorry. Ooh, wow, looks interesting. Wow, I like it. All right, please welcome everybody, my first guest, Mr. Noah Katz. Oh, thank you, Noah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you so much for... Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank nice you. to meet you. You know, we've never uh, met before, so it's really glad that you could uh, make it here today. Sure, sure. I, uh, we haven't uh, seen each other since you used all the hot water in the shower this morning, Ben. Oh, that's interesting, actually, because I read an article earlier today that said you don't actually have to put the milk jug back in the fridge when it's empty. You can mm. actually just recycle those jugs. Okay. Oh, so okay. I'll send you a link later if you want to read that. Appreciate it. All right. All right. So first of all, we'll get into the uh, the Coen Brothers movie uh, that you worked on, A Hail Caesar. Actually, mm -hmm. what was it like being on set and working on that film? Oh, it was great. It was a great time. Uh, I just love to be have the opportunity to work on a, uh, a feature film, uh, even though it was kind of a very, uh, very tiny role. But... Uh, it was a great time, and I uh, had a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. So actually, how did you prepare for the role of Man on Bicycle Number 2, and will Man on Bicycle Number 2 be making any more appearances in, the, uh, in any more feature films? Mm. Well, to prepare for uh, Man on Bicycle 2, uh, I went on set, and somebody pointed at me and asked, can you ride a bicycle? And I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if I will be, if you'll see Man on Bicycle 2 in any... Uh, more films, I would hope so, but uh, probably not. All right, all right. Uh, well, okay. yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, and actually, your newest film is called A Smash Guarantee. That's right. It was written by you and your friend Mark Vale. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like writing for yourself and with the partner, uh, with your friend Mark? And will you be doing that uh, any more? Um, will you doing any more writing in the future? Mm. Well, it was uh, it was a lot of fun having a writing partner uh, and uh, both enjoying the script and the and the story. And it could be difficult at times uh, if you don't agree on something, but I find that if you have a partner to work with and you both have an end goal in sight, that, um, that it'll actually make the project even better. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Actually, you're going to do a performance for us when we get back from the commercial break. Is that right? Oh, I can't wait. All right, perfect. Yeah. All right, so we'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsor. Drink this. Alright, thank you. Welcome back everybody. Welcome back. Alright, back here with my guest Noah Katz. Uh, actually, Noah, you're going to be uh, doing a little performance for us today, is that right? Yeah, I would like to just do a little performance from one of my favorite movies, which is Die Hard. Uh, this is the beginning scene uh, where John McClane meets uh, the limo driver Argyle and they drive to Nakatomi Plaza. And I will be playing, uh, I will be playing both characters. All right, very good. Let's uh, take it away, Noah. All right, Let's here we go. Let's hear a little go. bit from Die Hard. Relax, man. We got everything in this mug. CD, VCR, VHS. I even know a few mama bears. If you're down. Or is he married? He's married. All right. How long has your wife been out here? Six months. And used to live in New York. Do you always ask so many questions, Argyle? Hey, I, I'm a, I used to be a cab driver. People expect a little chit chat. Uh, and here we are. People expect a little chit chat, so you know. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Noah. That oh, well, great. thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. That was great, Noah Katz. Wonderful performance from Die Hard, great. Thank you to my audience and my crew. Thank you so much for uh, helping me put this all together. Hope you have a good night, everybody.